obviously a huge election, the Republicans taking over the House. What does it mean here in Westchester County for small business owners like yourselves? I think it means when you have a balance between Republicans in the House and Democrats in the Senate, that they're going to have to work together. And they're going to have to listen to what America said. And America said, we're not happy with taxes going up, up, up. We need to have some leveling of our taxes. We need to be aware of what's going on in the pocketbook at home. You need to treat your budget the way we treat our budget at home, around our small businesses and around our kitchen table. I think that's what Americans said across the country. You can read a lot of things into this election. Uh, Going into it, I, I had a phrase that if you're in, you're out. The concept, I think, was people were very upset with what was happening. They felt out of control. And it wasn't Republican or Democrat. It was more... Um, and we were talking about this because we, as uh, members of this bar association, have self-imposed term limits. And that may be what the public is looking to. When I speak to small business owners throughout the county, I don't know anyone who has high hopes. Um, the, the most optimistic pro- projections or predictions I hear are, I just want to get through this still in business. So I think people feel the American dream is slipping away, and I think they're very, very concerned uh, about profligate spending. What do they need? What is the one thing that, that they need, small business owners like yourselves, from the government that, that you're not already getting? Because let's be fair here, the Obama administration has done a lot to aid businesses. I think, I think people feel the government has to get out of the way. People are finding that um, the costs of doing business have become almost out of, um, out of reach. In my uh, opinion, Republicans are more pro-business more pro-small business than the, uh, the Democrats are. So I think it's a positive. See, I kind of feel the Democrats are pro-small business more so, so it's an interesting... Um, why, why do you think that? Well, I mean, I feel like every time they speak, they want to infuse money into small business. They feel that so many people are out of work. They're trying to boost the economy through the small business. But is that the rhetoric or is that the action? Because you, you disagree. Yeah, I think it's the rhetoric more than the action. I mean, the, the, the taxation and, and taxation of the businesses and taxation of the people and so forth, it's, it's, it's really anti-small uh, business. I mean, it's not anti-big business, it's anti-small business, which really predominantly is the backbone of this country. So what's that specific stimulation to you both that you need uh, from the government? Is it increased lending from the banks? What is it? You just need more incentive, and you need more innovation in terms of ways of going out and trying to synthesize companies to hire more people. I mean, here you are saying that there's so much money being infused, but it does not trickle down nine times out of ten. There's so much red tape. We can't get our hands in the pot. I mean, we, we teach the five major business skills you need to succeed in the workplace. So we're a training and development company. And there is so much money now talk about, oh, we want to train the people to present themselves better and we want them to get jobs. But yet to actually get your hand in the monies that allow you to do that, you can't get access to it, number one. You've been trying? Of course. Number two is on a small local level. Everything's, oh, you know, the state and federal. But there's so much red tape. I mean, we went out for a bid, a bid two weeks ago, and just to the application process alone. So, yeah, the money's out there, but who's getting it? So what would your advice be to the new Congress and to the president? What would it be now? Uh, we need to stay at, you know, this kind of stay out of our business, if you will. Let us run our companies. I mean, obviously, there has to be some kind of oversight, and we all know what happens if there is an oversight. Um, but don't tax us so much. Don't try to tell us what we need to do on health care. I mean, sometimes it takes a natural course, and, that, and that's what you need it to do. Um, and don't incentivize people with too many incentives to stay home by continuing to support them when they can actually get out to work. And I'd say lift us up and support us. I mean, we are the blood in the veins of this economy, the small business. And I would say give us the incentives to hire people. Make the money that you're making available um, accessible to us. Make it easy so that we can utilize that money to throw money back into the economy and stimulate it. You know, don't overtax exactly what you said. We only have so much legroom right now, and we need a little more lifting up. You know, put us on your shoulders and let us succeed because there are so many small businesses that will throw money back into the economy. We'll get people working. We'll make, you know, there's so much that we can do as small business owners.